Welcome to my YouTube channel, Amanu Josh Tech. Today, I want to show you how to solve the problem of the voice breakdown of the WhatsApp. Normally, drop off voice. So you'll find that most of the time, if you are using Edge Router, there's this problem of maybe when you are doing VOL, v, VOLT or most of your customers when they are talking over there, they are using WhatsApp chat to make calls. There's this issue of disconnecting. Then after some times, it comes back, then it connects again. So there's, there's a breakage. of And it's normally, normally WhatsApp, WhatsApp normally use uh, v, 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 voice over internet, v, v, VOLT. So the voice over internet, it you usually use a very small package. It's very, very small. But when there's a lot of traffic coming to, it normally tends to, to disconnect, then it connects. And one of the main problems, one of the things that I've noticed is that if you are using the WhatsApp, if your clients are using WhatsApp, they are using WhatsApp to make communication, or they are using emos. Uh, they are using emo, or maybe they are using, they, 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 they are making calls using internet. So, we will find that sometimes it connects, then it disconnects. It connects, then it disconnects. So this one, normally, it's called, I mean, it's, it's normally caused by the drop of package, packets. Uh, so, you find that internet is there, but the voice normally breaks. And the main reason why it breaks is that with WhatsApp, it's normally real time, unlike YouTube and other the other things. So, Ubiquiti Network have come up with a solution to solve that one, and particularly if you are using a router. So, stay tuned, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel so that whenever I have something that you can discuss, you'll be the first one to to grasp. So, please stay tuned. this problem first and foremost you must be having an edge router or if you have an edge router into your network so log in into the edge router then after you have logged into the edge router then just follow this simple step it's just something very very simple then just follow it and see how you can allocate packets packets to the VOLT the voice over internet so this package after you have allocated it you find that maybe you maybe let's say if you are having like maybe you have certain bandwidth from your client from your side your isp maybe you are you are having like 50 mbps so this 50 mbps you are supposed to allocate bandwidth like let's say just 5 mbps to allocate to do such kind of such kind of uh, task you know edge router so that whenever there is a voice over internet then the packets for voice over internet are going to be directed towards that package. So, the first thing that you have to know, you must know how much bandwidth you are having. Then after you have known how much bandwidth you are having, then from there, log in into a router. Then after you have logged in into a router, just follow just some few steps, which I'm just about to, to give you. Then you are just done, like that. So, you come to your nini, you come to Chrome, You type the IP of the edge router, your IP of the edge router, and uh, if you don't know how to configure edge router, there are steps which I gave in my previous video, so you can just look at the link below and see how to configure edge router. So first you have to know how what is edge router, how to configure it, so that you can come to this step which I'm yet about to show you. So. come to a edge router you type the password
with me I'm using a router 12x so there are different type of edge router but the interface is much more or less the same so after you have logged into the edge router then you come you come to QoS you come to QoS then you should know the package for you anime already had had created me i'm having i've created ethan it, it, it one and ethan two to balance the traffic so the ethan one that one i am having like 50 if you come to my dashboard yeah you find that with me ethan one I'm, i normally have 50 mpps yeah i normally have there 50 so i've allocated certain bandwidth to do such kind of work so we find that if you just come, so I want to allocate, I want to an, add another, I, I want to add another traffic, so that you, you can see, like, this one, this, if you look at it 4 it 3 if you look at it 3 if you look at it 3 so what happened to it 3 you find that the package that I'm using, this one is 50 Mbps, so, if you just skin, You'll see that I'm using up to I'm using up to 47 Mbps. Then I can allocate some package also. This one also I can allocate it for voiceover. So you just come to QoS there. You come to QoS. Then you add you add a policy. So it's it an it a three. So I just add a smart queue. Then I just add a pol policy, another policy. So I, I write it smart SQ, SQ03. SQ then I check at my interface. My interface is Ethan ita 3, like that. Then I give it a rate. So you have to know how much package you are, you are having in terms of upload and download. So my upload with the through port number three is 50. That is the maximum I can get from that port. So that one is 50 upload, 50 download. So you just have to put 50, 50. So if you happen to run the speed test for that port, you'll find that the maximum speed test, if you happen to get it, you'll, you'll get that the maximum package it can go through that port is, is, is not supposed to be over 50 Mbps. So it will be like, it will, it will be either 45 or 40 something like that 45 is around 45 the package are going to drop so th that that package that has dropped that one normally that 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 one is just put is it is it it, it is an idol it, it has just put in an idol state such that in case there's a voice over internet then the, it's going to use that package that you have left behind so if maybe maybe your people are are downloading some things they are going to use up to 45 Mbps. Then the remaining five, it's for just that job. It's just their package is just remaining for in case of any voiceover. Or maybe somebody has sent and... Uh, 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 and you know the advantage is that if you allow this, this type of queues, is that in case somebody sends something, there's a package which has been sent through a WhatsApp. Then instead of delaying, it will just go automatically. Because there's that five Mbps. And normally, the voiceover, it doesn't consume a lot of internet, but it's a real time. So, there must be a flow of that internet. Unlike for YouTube, YouTube is not real time. YouTube gives the package, then it holds back. It gives, then it holds back. But for, for WhatsApp call, it's real time. So, it wants that internet there and it should be stored there and whenever it, it's being needed, it should be given out. And if it's not there, then the results it will be that it's going to cut out or it's going to drop the call. Yeah, it's going to drop the call. So that's why you'll find that maybe if you're using a router, this normally affects those people who are using a router. So if you're using a router, you'll find that sometimes the flow is okay, then after some times it drops the call. Then connects, then disconnect. So you'll find that you don't, you have not allocated bandwidth for that kind of job. So it's like the router is trying to look for that bandwidth. So it's going to take some bandwidth from somewhere. So when it's looking for the bandwidth, 
and uh, maybe that bandwidth is already in use, so it has to wait first. Then, when 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 it's still waiting, then the call already is dropped. So it's better you allocate some bandwidth for that. So let us continue. So you apply. Okay. So I've allocated smart. So like with me, I'm, I'm I've given three links. I had given two, so I've added another one. But the goodness is that also you can remove. You can remove if you don't need it. So it's still applying. Already successfully applied. So I've, had, I've added uh, SQ1, that is a policy for ten one. So I've allocated. So you'll find that the one is 50, then I'm having 100 and also 50. So that one is a total of 200 Mbps. So with this 200 Mbps, you'll find that in case there's a traffic, I'm going to consume like 170. Then the remaining 30 Mbps is normally allocated for that job. So if you have not done this, this simple trick in your router, work it out and let me know. Otherwise, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Because I have a lot of things which we need to share together. So, thumb up.